In the early 20th century, Germany was the preeminent European power and the cultural centre for literature, philosophy, and science. German scientists led the charge to discover the fundamental workings of materials, matter, and energy. At the forefront of German physicists were Max Planck and Albert Einstein. Despite being close friends and leaders in the development of quantum theory, Planck and Einstein had completely opposite perspectives on the relationship between science and the nation state. Planck was a proud Prussian and a declared nationalist, initially believing in the German cause and its inevitable victory. Whilst Einstein was a German Jew who gave no allegiance to any state and believed that the world would be better off under a single world government. These differing attitudes were illustrated at the start of World War I. It was after the beginning of the war in 1914 that Planck signed the Appeal for 93 Intellectuals, a manifesto to the civilized world. This document strongly supported German military actions in the early periods of the war. In contrast, Einstein retained a strictly pacifist attitude and responded in October 1914 by initiating a counter manifesto to Europeans, which challenged militarism and called for peaceful European unity. The war finally ended in 1918. During this period, Planck's views on the independence of science altered. He argued that ideally, science should be an independent pursuit of knowledge, not controlled by the needs of the state or industry. At this point in time, Planck and Einstein agreed. They were both instrumental in the establishment of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin to research and promote all fields of science. In 1917, Einstein became the first director of the physics branch, while Planck sat on the board of several branches. In 1930, Planck was appointed president of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. As Germany's most prestigious scientific research facility, the institute was renowned for its research in many areas such as materials, matter and energy. The rise of fascism and the appointment of Hitler inevitably led to the redirection of the institute's research to support the war effort. As a result, German science became marginalised as the rest of the world recoiled from Hitler's policies. As a Jew, Einstein suffered prejudice in Germany even before the rise of the Nazi party. Like many other scientists during this period, he refused to remain in Germany out of fear of persecution under the Nazi regime. In 1930, Einstein resigned and took up a professorship at the Princeton University. Planck, however, still an urban nationalist, remained at the KWI to work within the system to save German science and work on regardless. As anti-Semitism increased with the policy to sack all Jewish teachers from German universities, Planck resigned his position at the institute in 1937 in protest. He even had the courage to confront Hitler face to face in an attempt to convince him that his attempt at racial genocide was despicable. He also spoke out against the anti-Semitism directed towards Einstein and negotiated to at least spare German scientists, with minimal success. Ironically, the actions of the Germans caused Einstein to temporarily abandon his pacifist stance. In 1939, he was persuaded to write a letter to President Franklin Roosevelt to warn him that the Germans might be developing an atomic bomb and urged America to do the same. In response, Roosevelt created the Manhattan Project to develop the first atomic bomb ahead of the Germans. This was later used against the Japanese to end the war in the Pacific. It is important to note that Einstein had no direct influence on the development of the atomic bomb, despite it being a clear demonstration of his equation E equals mc squared, as it shows that a large amount of energy can be released from a small amount of matter. So we see a switch in both Einstein and Planck's perspectives. During World War I, Einstein is a pacifist, while Planck urges the scientific community to support the war effort. In contrast, during World War II, Planck was resisting the militarization of scientific research, while Einstein argued for the development of nuclear weapons.